Hi everyone, I'm Eric Whitcraft, AIFD Floral Contributor for Florist Review Magazine. Today I'm gonna to share with you this incredible bouquet. I'm gonna show you how to use the flat cane to create an armature and then put together this luxurious, beautiful bridal bouquet. And I'm simply doubling it around itself, creating loops and curves and stapling it in place. You can do several of them and then attach them all together. From there, I'm using heavy gauge wire that I've pre-taped with corsage tape. That will form the handle that will hold it all together. I've attached it to the flat cane armature, brought them all together and attached the whole thing with corsage tape to create the handle. You can begin layering in your flowers. I started with the Snowval Viburnum and then some of the beautiful garden roses from Alexander Farms. So we have the Princess Aiko rose and then the Princess Miyaki. I added in the Hypericum and also the Ranunculus. From there, I have incorporated some of the Japanese maple. The Japanese maple is kind of water sensitive. So what I have done is used small water tubes that I've attached wire to with corsage tape. The small vessels of water will actually hold the foliage to last a little bit longer when I use it in the bouquet. Once you have the Japanese maple foliage incorporated. I like to bind it really well using bind wire. That'll secure the bouquet together. I've also layered around the outside some large leaf foliage. You can choose whichever kind you'd like. I'm using helibore foliage. Trim all the stems and then from there you're going to ribbon wrap it. So I've used number nine sheer ribbon over the top of the stem just to finish it off so there's something nice for the bride to hold on to. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope this has inspired you and I hope to see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.